I, I think I just have to bite that bullet because I didn't know where to gauge these guys, the Goro say, and I would still say that there's, they're are all on the same power. I, I'll probably say that because I don't think that right now, like War Kree is that much stronger, if at all, than Jupiter or Tottenham or, I mean, or not War or Tottenham, or Marcus Mars or Ethan. So I would say for sure, Shanks level, no, 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 no. Shanks has the, the, the best by far. It's not even close. Like this AOE is huge. Shanks was doing thousands of miles. It was it was it was stupid. Like no, 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 no. Shanks was otherworldly and not random niggas, but an admiral. An admiral got shot. Not a rando. Green Bull was in the flower capital. That's inland inside Wano Country. Shanks and the Red Force ship, they couldn't even see the borders of the country. They couldn't even see the borders. And all those like formations are relative to Zunisha. It's insane. So Shanks was nuts. But it is better than someone like Katakuri, that's for sure. Is it better than Rayleigh? I don't know. I actually don't know, but this is damn good. And it seems like it is a Big Mom-esque thing where he's yelling, he's screaming, and to be fair, Dorian and Brody are fine. Luffy, <laughs> his scars did come off. So, you know, that's whatever, whatever, whatever consolation is that, you tell me. But his scars did come off. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to gauge that. I'll do with you. I just know. I, I, hey, listen, his scars came off. And then he put them back on. <laughs> his eyes did pop out too. Yeah, I don't know how you gauge that in terms of power. I don't know. I, I, I'll, I'll be with you. Yeah, he just... Okay, just just let like let Luffy do his own, own, own thing. He cooked, yeah, pretty much. He he, he 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 healed. But outside of that, I mean, uh, the AOE is huge for sure, and the roar does so. Conquerors hockey hockey can amplify the roar for sure. But outside, and then also he's very fast. Like he's a gigantic pig the size of a fucking skyscraper, and he's doing cartwheels. He's doing like front wheel somersaults. Like why? Because Oda doesn't give a f like, yeah. yeah normally, again, in the show, normally the like the larger they are, the slower they are. Not One Piece, baby. Like, what the f yeah, we don't give a shit. Just like, okay, bro, whatever. Just, just whatever, dude. But he does get blown back pretty handedly by the giants. They do blow him, and I don't see. Maybe they, maybe they have hockey on their uh, shields. Who knows? Not too sure. Okay, this is something we have to talk about honestly, because I just don't know. I don't know if the elders. I, I would say there's a good chance now. I'm not gonna confirm it per se, but I think there's a good chance that the Admirals could be stronger than Admirals, which is something that to me kind of flummox, not necessarily flummoxes me, but the assumption is that Green Bull, Fujitora, Kizaru have awakenings and we haven't seen them do their full power just yet. And this right here is the full power of the elders on paper potentially. <sighs> but that's all like theory and conjecture. I can't necessarily speak that like guarantee. Like I can't say like that's like, like an actual guarantee. No way Kizaru has it. He had been using it. I mean, the idea is that Kizaru was so mentally touchable that Kizaru just could not fathom using Wakening at this point in time. Because I had to stab Vega Punk and oh my god, I was following orders. But then, then, but then I got turned to a pizza. Ooh, okay, whatever. So I don't know. It's 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 hard to say. Wow. Listen, I would say it's pretty it's, it's pretty obvious that. The elders, they're powerful. How powerful, it's, I think, hard to say, but to me, I can't, yeah, even though it's his specific type of like roaring technique that's Conqueror's Hockey, amp, Conqueror's Hockey Amplified, to me, the elders are looking better than first division cats. They're looking better than first division cats for sure. They are, I mean, like, well, like Rob Luch, who I'd put like let's say around that level of power. I mean, after this chapter, where Zoro couldn't even knock him the <laughs> out. Look at me. No. Where Zoro couldn't even knock him out. Huh? I'll put him on that level for sure. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. But look at Luchi's expression when he sees fing dude. Look at this, man. Like, look at his expression. Like, look how shook he is, man. Like, Luchi is stunned lock. Bro, he is tied up and there's no safety word. Like, yo, what the hell? Now, given the circumstances, yeah, obviously, it's trying to see this <laughs> mythical class mother just pull on up. Like, yo, like imagine an evil ho comes down on you when you're trying to catch a pigeon. Like, what the? 
Yeah, okay, like you're gonna be shook, guaranteed. Today's sponsor is none other than the Surfshark VPN. Oh! You see, the World Wide Web absolutely is a very dangerous place. One false step, one wrong move. <gasps> and you will find out that your week, your month, your year could be completely ruined. And that's why for my fellow weebs out there across the world, I know that we explore some very interesting locations and some very interesting places on the web. Lord have mercy, I'm about to- But you need protection. You need safety. And Surfshark VPN absolutely has your back with dope features like the clean web feature that clears up any malware, any viruses, any bad actors that may try and ruin your day. I am a big dude. Duh. And part of the reason why is because of them sweet, delicious cookies. Absolutely. But I hate them. I detest them online. So Surfshark VPN is my online dietitian as well. And it's my dietitian everywhere. My desktop, my laptop, my phone, wherever I am, I can have Surfshark VPN protecting me, making sure I am secure, safe, and sound. Furthermore, if you want access, let's say any region gated content, let's say on Netflix, let's say on Hulu, and even my own channel, since I do have region gated content. What did he say? And you want to gain access to this region gated content, then you can easily do so by changing the location that you are located in with Surfshark VPN. And with the click of a button, that region locked content has now been unlocked. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, go in the description box down below. You use code Cole, that is K-O-L, to get an exclusive offer and three months free. Once again, use code Cole, and now let's get back into the video. But Rob Lucci, is, I mean, he does maintain, he does maintain composure. He does, for sure. But also, it's the fact that this guy can generate so much hockey. Like even Gene was like, yo, what the hell is happening here? So they will be safe for the end game. Ah, uh, maybe not the end game itself. We have to wait and see. Because honestly, right now, there are still plans that the Blackbeard Pirates have that are putting them in, 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 in direct competition with the elders and Emu. Because they want the world. So we'll see. Mars use advanced Congress hockey. Where? Mars, 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 Mars. Use advanced, wait, advanced, con what is it? Huh? I mean, there is a, okay, so at the beginning of the chapter, we do see these gigantic balls of hockey coming from the Lavo Stratum barrier. And it should be at 100% now, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, he didn't get any damage? No, he did, but he regenerated. That's what I'm getting at. Like I, like, I think he just reformed in midair. After he slammed into there, he reformed. Maybe use Congress Hockey Infusion to help bypass the Labo Stratum Barrier. It's possible. But we do see a big ass explosion when he goes in there. Like, my assumption is that he was able to reform after he took all that damage because they're all immortal. That's my assumption. But to be fair, though, I don't know if I was. I, I'm not too sure when Luffy did it, if it was at 100%. I, I, I think it was. But Luffy also ran through it too, when he was in gear five. Isn't Congress Hockey tied to Life Force since they're immortal, they have hacks? When I, we, it's not clear. Because hockey normally is a willpower thing. In general, willpower influences your hockey, whether it's observation, whether it's conquerors or armor hockey. Normally it's willpower. That was like one of the core concepts of the, of, of, uh, or foundation of the power. Life Force is a bit different. Life Force is tied to like soul stuff, where uh, Big Mom, who manipulates your soul, can also take away years of your lifespan. That's how it normally is, you know? And then Rob Lucci, who can use the uh, Komari techniques, Rob Lucci, he has hockey, but it's independent from his actual life return body uh, manipulation shit. So I can't necessarily say it's like a Life Force thing when it comes to the 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 hockey usage it's unclear because also at the same time too zoro was gonna have his life end if he used too much of emma's power so it's maybe they're tied in some way but i'm not too sure if like let's say because you're immortal you have higher hockey levels by default that kind of like it the longer someone lit almost like what you would see in these um uh, like manhwa cultivator type series where the longer someone lives, the more they can cultivate, therefore they have more chi or ki. 
but I don't think hockey works like that. I think hockey's more like willpower. Right, that's like life force. That, that's what I would say. That's what I would say. But, I mean, yeah. Th this is uh, pretty impressive. The elders have a great choice. They have a... The elders and the giants and in Luffy, they have an outstanding, they have a great showcase of chapter. It's it's unbelievable, man. Later. Can we talk about that robot, oh, Julius pose, please? I didn't even... Uh, yeah, no, I the most the, the most important thing was that Conqueror's call, that, uh, that Conqueror's um blast call. We think of that. Uh, yeah, see, so that to me was because the Big Mom sound wave thing. Um, mm. they we said like for like, like like the whole island area. That now again, let's just say that this is not his best move because I'm assuming he has better shit at some point in the future. Um, but oh, obviously, yeah, of course, yeah. Conqueror's hockey on um, that scale with the actual sound wave coming out, like, that's impressive. And honestly, now I'm like, okay, the girls are looking pretty damn good. They have so uh, G Bay says that Marcus Morris has a ton of hockey. Same thing for, and we're seeing the hockey here with um uh, Warkery. These guys, they they might be. Yeah. I'm not too sure, but they could be strong admirals now. I don't know. Oh, well, they they yeah. scale past admirals just by the regeneration alone. Because if you look at the chapter, you see the one dude transform his just to the swords. Then we don't know what other like projectile abilities they got, just mm -hmm. based on their stamina alone. And then if you see the skill of their attacks is like ain't nobody really lasting against them it's like in a true 1v1 them yeah, and they can, they, they, yeah they can, can outlast you we, can't, you know we can't talk about cinema if we seen admirals fighting for 10 days at full strength notice how jinbei says that they have like a what did he say to them having an immense amount of hockey and he's saying yeah. this with the knowledge of being on wano when Kaido and Luffy were battling, and there's a, there's a bunch of hockey spreading around in, in Onigashima, and it attests to like how how much hockey they have. I was gonna say actually, Jinbei comments on Shanks hockey and their hockey, and he yeah. says Shanks had monstrous, and then he said these guys are on real hockey. Yeah, that's what Raven too. Gotcha. I mean, I would just say like in oh. order to say like oh like how much hockey do they have compared to other like emperors? I don't know if they're like at that stage first i mean i haven't seen like infusion yet per se like from any now someone did say that maybe maybe marcus mars was able to infuse hockey into his whole body which allowed him to actually bypass the labo stratum uh the barrier because uh, we do see the sparks of hockey um yeah. that are coming out of, like, 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 we, we, have, we have right so it could be like a regeneration thing it could be like a hockey thing i'm not too sure but the idea though is that they do have strong hockey and i wonder if that also ties to the ominous feeling that Jean Bay and other guy and then uh, other guys got when um uh when uh Jay first arrived. Yeah, when Saturn first arrived, they had an ominous feeling. Like is it because of the hockey or is it something else entirely? So yeah, yeah, I wanted I wanted to continue on to a point that you made earlier in the stream, and it had to do with like, you know, the hockey being tied to like the the life force. Yeah. I think oh, it's a possibility that they have they're they're able to re they're able to use hockey without like probably running out because they're immortal because like we've seen like zoro yeah, even yeah. he he even even he feels like like if his hockey keeps on getting drained he will die but like they're immortal so there's a possibility where they they could just spam like endless amounts of hockey without no repercussions because they are are immortal that negative one hp glitch in like a game i don't know yeah. if the hockey thing ties directly, let's say, to one's lifespan, or let's say, um, uh, life force, because like Luffy can run out of hockey in Gear Four, and then um, uh, he can still fight without hockey. Uh, so he can still do his own thing. And so you know, but because normally it's more associated to, uh, with a will. That was my whole point here. Where like willpower and hockey seem to be more in juxtaposition. Where like the stronger your will is, the more powerful your hockey can like be exerted. Um, whether that's like yeah, gonna yeah. be opposition or conqueror's armament, like your will is very very synonymous with hockey. Lifespan is kind of like maybe it is, maybe it's not. It's kind of unclear at times. Like Zoro is going to potentially die if Emma took too much of his hockey, but then Luffy uses all of his hockey and then he can still fight. So it's like, well, like I'm not sure if that's like, like it may be consistent. What? Honestly, if I'm being realistic, but, really I mean, but like, but like there, there's, there's also like, there's also uh, like the, the the point that like anytime these characters go into like battles where they're putting their life on the line they do grow their hockey so in, in some way that it does have like like a tie to their their lifespan like the will the will power is more more on along the lines of like what you said and they're becoming more ambitious in what they want to do in the battle so 
In terms of hockey and willpower, um, I mentioned this earlier, but like in a joking way, but now thinking back at it, um, Zoro does seem a lot weaker to me. Why are you bullying me? I'm not trying to like, you know, what? Wait, what? I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to personal. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. How does he Wano, do it? Wano seems stronger <laughs> for me, okay? And then for some reason we see like a Grim Reaper at the end of his fight with King. And since then, I don't know, something feels off with Zoro. Um, I thought maybe he what? might need screw or something, but it definitely seems like uh, there's a potential that he got his hockey, you know, halved or um, he what? lost some of his power. In that <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's not entertain <laughs> this. Beth fell down D stairs at Sky his King. Head. What? Sky King, go. <laughs> So, first off, Cole, you gotta make that Gorosei video next week, cause uh, you need to apologize after these last couple of years. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking. Wait, 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 wait. Years. Whoa. Tell me about years, Mister. Yes, no, no, no. yes, years. Yeah, right. Yep. Wait. Years. Apologies. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have been, I have been always ambiguous when it comes to their power. I've always said either they could be civilian level or. They could be high as hell, but I don't know yeah, how high. But I did. But however, I've been kind of. I've, I've said before, I don't think they're Yonko level, and I think right, that's still the, right, like the right. same. That's it though. Right. Okay. Number two. Number two. I do find it very, very interesting. This chapter. I mean, it was kind of set up last chapter with Luchi and yep. Zoro talking about the hockey and how like everyone's been saying like, oh, there's this weird presence about them. Um, but their hockey level is very impressive and how they're using it is very interesting. I don't know yet if the teleportation is hockey yet. However, because Lucy said like, oh, because this weird hockey presence is gathering on the island, that might mean that that could be how Shanks got up to the uh, red line, which yes, see. I did bring that up the other time before, which means that these guys are very, very skilled. They're very, very skilled at training their hockey, which makes sense if they are old as we think they are. But then third, all this stuff just is a potential notch under Emu's belt. Because think about it. They serve him, and now we're yep. seeing Emu also has feet. True. Fair enough. So it's like, it's like we know Dragon Ball stuff. The Ginyu Force were cool at the time during Namek. <laughs> at the end of the day, no. they, serve, they <laughs> still serve There's no way. Uh -oh. They still serve Frieza. Okay, I'm happy that Wait, was the point you were trying to make. We can say more than one thing. Can yeah, I yeah, that's thing? what that's what I'm saying. Like you know, the Ginyu Force, they were cool and all, but at the end of the day, yeah, there's also five of them as well. <laughs> right, right, right. I was scared, bro. I thought you were Ooh, there is five of them. Yeah, I thought you were yeah, comparing five, like five really Ginyu Force to the members. Ginyu Force. I actually so think like, this is Luffy is gonna turn into a frog. But, but my point is, like, the more and more we see of these guys, they are very, very, very impressive. However, I am concerned. Yet again, I keep saying, why haven't they moved? Which, you know, Oda has to explain. He but doesn't, like, though. He won't. He, 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 won't. Yeah, he, doesn't. Doesn't, he, he really won't. doesn't need to explain why yeah, they, and also, do, they need to move. And, well, and, 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 also like, and also, too, like, I'm not too sure if I mean, actually, like, because, like, they, they are, like, they, like this it, chapter, they're impressive for sure, but Saturn himself hasn't been all that, like, great compared to, like, what we're seeing right now. Ooh, though, to, ooh, though, ooh. Though, 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 to be fair, he had an ominous feeling to him when he arrived, so I don't know. I don't know if that ominous feeling is also tied to his but, hockey level. Yeah. But but at the same time, again, even though we saw this like roar of Congress hockey and so on, like Dory and Brogy block the attack that he does, falling up, and then they, and then they just, and then they send him packing. Like, get out of here, dude. Yeah, I, so, I don't like ask that. Quick yeah, question. You know, you got the, but this is just a this is just a glimpse. Or they're just giving us a glimpse of what they're gonna be fighting later on. They're not gonna show all their their abilities until we, we get in that fight with them. That's when they're gonna go crazy. Yeah. They're not gonna Fair. do all this stuff right now. My question is for people like Ziz that keep saying this shit about why, what were they doing? Why weren't they fighting? Name yeah, me one cool. series, one instance, fiction or non-fiction, real life, non-real life, where a head of a military is constantly moving and going out and doing uh, shit, putting themselves in harm's way. Oh, oh, oh I, I got it. Uh, I, I, no, on the way, I got you. Fear King Bradley. He did shit in, in the early stages of FMA. Got he! <laughs> yes, but he yeah, was but he's not doing it. Yeah, he's like, also not father. And you said an example of them moving. Were they not moving? 
Yes, I mean, not not moved. like yeah, not like he, this. You, you met you met you met moving in in correlation to right, being right. them, them being active. Yeah. yeah, they don't they don't they, they stay with it. They stay there in their post. It's just because Vegapunk. Exactly. They won't even come here. Vegapunk was going to do this message. They're, they're, they're definitely going to come. See you. Bye bye.